What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be helping y'all make an intermission for your game that automatically chooses a map and teleports you to it. So first you need to make a hub, um, make sure you put a spawn location on it, and then you can just make a map. Like I'm just going to duplicate my hub and then you can name your map whatever you want. So you name it map or like the cool map, anything you want. But go on ahead, make a folder and replicate a store. No, make a string value and replicate it. Oh, replicate a storage. Change the name of it to status with a capital S. Then go in server storage. Make a folder. Name this folder maps. Capital M. Then put your map inside of it. And then make a folder inside your map. Um, folder. There you go. Make a folder inside your map. Name this folder to spawns with a capital S. All right. Now. You oh wait I gotta I, I gotta put the map back in workspace. So go ahead and put the map back. Now you just need to make a spawn where your players respawn. You can make as many as you want, but for this video I'm just gonna make it three. I, I'm just gonna make three. I'm gonna make it green and then, um. Oh wait um don't copy the whole map. Just copy the. Just make a spawn inside of it. There you go. Now I'm gonna make it green again. Make it smaller. Um, you can turn kick a light off, but make sure it's anchored. Okay, um, five, comma zero point one, comma five. All right. Now there's a little green dot, and then you want to put put it inside of the spawns folder. It doesn't matter where it's named. I'm just going to change mine's name to spawn, just so that it's a little bit more organized. All right. So go ahead, put it inside the spawns. And put it inside on um, the server storage inside of maps. All right, now we're gonna go in ahead and make a screen GUI. So go to star GUI, add a screen GUI. Inside screen GUI, you wanna add a text label. Make sure it's not a text button or box, and then a local script. Okay, now we're gonna do the text label. Just put it in the center. You can customize it however you want. Make it big or small. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, there you go. I'll make mine like this, customize it a little bit. Put it in the middle. Um you know, like I said you can customize however you want. I'm gonna make my background transparent. Um I'm gonna make my color. I mean, yeah, make sure text scaled. Make my text. You can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter, it will change. So I'm just gonna do Little stars things. All right, textual transparency. I'm gonna make mine zero so that it has a little outline around it. Makes it look a little bit more sharp. So now that you're done with that, go inside server, script servers, add a script, and then um, I put the link. To, um, I put the script down in the description. So just copy it and paste it. Go you know, and then the script was edited by me. I got it from somebody else. Credits to them in the description, but it wasn't working. So. But it wasn't working, so I had to. Okay, now go inside um, the local script. Go back to local script and then paste this also down in the description. And this script was actually made by me. I wrote it. And basically what this does, it allows it... Um, to change the text label on the screen GUI to whatever the status is, and the status inside replicated storage. So now that we play it, as you can see, the intermission starts. 24, oh, a little bit laggy. 22, 21, 20. All right, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now choosing map. And then once it's got the map, it's going to say map chosen, teleporting players, and then boom, you're teleported there. Then the round starts, and then right here's your game time. I made my time just 10, just so that the video is a little bit shorter. And so you can change that to whatever you want.